All right, we are on the ferry with Angelica. She looks thrilled. And uh, we're just waiting to load up. We are heading to Homer on the ferry. We are going to spend some time on the Kenai Peninsula, explore Homer with Cooper Landing, Sadatna, Kenai area. Um, and then she's going to be having a ear surgery. You excited for that? Mm, look, there's a queen. Yep, she's excited for it. And then um, we'll see what goes on from there. We have made it on the ferry. Well, it's still going to be a little bit before we take off. But we had to get a room for tonight. Oh, our room has a view. I caught sleeping on the bottom. And we are, this is a 14 hour ride. We are pretty hungry. And hopefully they are serving food. If not, uh, <laughs> we have some, some snacks. So that's the last resort. I'll probably eat them like right now. But... Yeah, it's just going to be a uh, a long ferry ride. Hopefully we get some cool things. Um, most of this ferry will be daylight. Last time I took the ferry was coming here and it was all dark. So it would be cool if we saw some whales or something like that. We'll see. <laughs> just finished up dinner wave of just tiredness hit me I think I ate too much food too soon well I mean as you can see just riding around this island is really really pretty we just stopped in Yuzinki and up next is Port Lyons and then we go to Homer so it feels like it takes forever when you're going through these little towns but uh, I gotta enjoy the view it's pretty pretty nice all right guys I figured there's probably no worse time to do this video but I'm gonna do it right now. It's a what is in my camera bag as an Alaskan photographer and filmmaker. So let's just get started. As you can see, I'm on a ferry and uh, I figured I'm on an adventure. Great time to show you this and it's also a 14 hour ride so I'm pretty bored too. So let's go ahead and start with the bag here. This is a Mind Shift camera bag. It's the 36 liter one and it is pretty good for hiking and uh, holding all my gear so I like it. it works really well okay next up is the peak design straps I have all of my cameras and some of my lenses now have a peak design um, tripod on there so I could just slide it in and lock it in for hikes and that way it's ready to go if I see some wildlife or a nice photo or something like that. So let's start off with the camera. We'll start with the camera that's recording this video. This is the Canon EOS R with a Tamron 15 to 30. What I love about this combination is that there is an adapter and it sounds bad but the adapter has an ND filter and it really comes in handy. Basically any lens with that adapter has an ND filter. The microphone that is a D80 D4 Duo. I believe it works pretty good. I like it for what I use and that's what's on top of this right now. My other camera that I always have my wildlife lens on is the Canon R5 with the Tamron 150 to 600. This thing is a very good combination and for a thousand dollar lens with a four thousand dollar camera body it doesn't really make a lot of sense but it works pretty good and there's no need for me to upgrade just yet. Okay, now let's actually show you what's in my bag. Okay, so I have two more lenses to show you here. First up, 70-200. This is a beast of a lens. It is really, really nice. A little heavy, but the image quality is by far the best of any of the lenses that I have. And my final lens is my newest one as well. This is the 24 to 70 Sigma f2.8. This thing is pretty good for the price. 
thousand dollar lens and it is very solid i love this as a backup for my aurora photography it is it goes to 24 millimeters which is wide enough for some compositions in aurora it's also great for landscapes okay next up you have to have this if you live in alaska although some spots it's hard to fly dji mavic 2 pro this thing is really really nice i've had it for over two years now whenever it was announced that's when i first got it and i only crashed it once that was like a month ago a couple months ago now and uh, it still works pretty good it flies and i love the image quality on it and the video quality is just as good we also have this little pouch here just has some tripod adapters and wrenches to tighten down some some mounts and whatnot pocket knife you never know when you'll need one some drone ND filters always always a must and this is a pretty old GoPro this is a GoPro Hero 5 it works pretty good so there's no need for me to change it just yet the image quality is okay and there's no stabilization but most of the time it's just mounted up so it works pretty good for what I use it for and now I also have this Rode Wireless Go 2 wireless lavalier microphone setup. This works pretty good. I never had a wireless mic until these ones, and I didn't realize the freedom you can have in some spots. So I really enjoy this. Okay, and if you live in Alaska and you wear glasses, you need these. These are just some lens cloths, and I got a bunch of them. My lens always get wet, my glasses always get wet, so I gotta dry them off and these work pretty good. Okay, so I have six backup batteries. So, well, actually, six total batteries for my R and R5. They are interchangeable, so basically three batteries each, and they last me more than a few days. So, this works really well. Okay, switching to another compartment in my bag here is my 360 camera. I don't use this a lot. This is a Rilo 360. Works pretty good. It's not the greatest. It, does perform decent though compared to the other models and it comes with an invisible selfie stick which is pretty cool okay that pretty much sums it up there's one more thing that i now just got the other day i just made a youtube video on it and my new apple macbook at first i was kind of skeptical about getting an apple but now that i have it i i really enjoy it it works really good it's almost as fast as my desktop PC and since I'm only using it for travel um, I really enjoy it a lot alright guys that basically sums up everything that's in my camera bag it's always changing depending on what I'm shooting but if there's anything I want to shoot the most it's definitely wildlife and that's why I keep the 150 to 600 on the R5 at all times unless I know there's no wildlife around then I'll switch it around and maybe get some 120 FPS slow motion stuff and whatnot. So that's basically everything I have. I'm going to go enjoy this adventure. We're going from Kodiak all the way to Homer and then driving around. We're going to Anchorage and I hope you guys follow along and subscribe to the channel. And here is some more of our trip to Homer on the ferry. <laughs> Let me apologize because it's so loud and windy in the boat, but oh, look at this. You can't beat it. This is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Maybe it's a little more quieter on this side, but this side doesn't have the better sunset. All right, we have finally made it to Homer. That was a long ride. And uh, my ankle, man, it is... Yesterday when I woke up, I was like, what the heck happened? I thought I broke the thing. And it's just not getting any better. I was okay yesterday, I was able to go to the gym. And then like after we ate on the ferry, it just got bad. Like I started limping really bad. 
But we are now in Homer. Really, really pretty out. That ends this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the ride along the, the Tustamina with us. And uh, hopefully my ankle gets better. And subscribe to the channel. And you can see more of Homer in the very next video that I upload. Oh, my ankle. <laughs>